How to make ultimate fudgy brownies. Let's get into it. First, I want to say I'm going to experiment a little bit. Originally, this recipe calls for one and a quarter cup of cocoa powder, but I read online that you can substitute it with melted chocolate, so I'm going to give that a shot and see how it tastes. If you feel like also experimenting with me, just slowly melt one and a quarter cups of chocolate. Maybe put a little bit extra because some of it might get lost uh, during the melting process. Melt it low and slow in your microwave until everything is smooth and mixed. If you don't want to do this part, that's totally fine. When we get to the cocoa powder part, I'll just let you know when to add it. When your chocolate is fully melted, put it to the side until we're ready to use it. Next, we are going to put one and a half cups of butter cut into nine pieces into a four quart uh, pan. You want to make sure the pan is at least four quarts because this is basically a one pot recipe for brownies. We're going to be mixing everything into this one pot, so make sure it's big enough to fit everything. Bring your pan over to your oven and you want to melt your butter until it's nice and smooth. Don't forget to stir it around occasionally until it's fully melted on like a medium to low to prefer preferably low heat. Be careful not to burn the butter. Once your butter is fully melted, take it off the heat. Now here is where you would either put in your one and a half, uh, one and a quarter cups, excuse me, of melted chocolate or your one and a quarter cups of cocoa powder. Mix everything together until it's smooth and well combined. Add two and three quarter cups of sugar. and a half teaspoon of salt. Whisk everything together until well combined. Once it's nice and smooth, you wanna check the temperature. It should be warm, not hot. If it's hot, just set it aside for a minute until it's warm enough to touch. Next, you're gonna want five eggs total, but we're gonna add two for now. And then we're gonna whisk those in until well combined. Make sure they're room temperature, it'll be easier to whisk in. Then when those two are added, add the last three. And then whisk those until well combined as well. Add two teaspoons of vanilla extract and then whisk that in as well. Add one and two thirds cups of flour. And gently fold it in, being careful not to overmix, gently and slowly until all the flour has been mixed in well. When that's done, we're going to set it aside to prepare our pan. I'm going to be using muffin cups, but you can use a regular size pan. If you're going to use a regular pan, make sure you grease it with something first. Put some wax paper or tin foil so it doesn't stick. I thought it would be fun to try these cups this time. These don't actually require a muffin pan, they can stand perfectly on their own. And when you're filling your pan or your muffin cups, make sure it's in one nice even layer. And then with that, you're going to bake them off at 325 degrees for about 35 to 45 minutes or until the toothpick inserted comes out clean. 
And when a toothpick inserted comes out clean, remove the pan or your muffin cups from the oven and put them on a cooling rack to cool down completely or at least 15 to 20 minutes so you don't burn your mouth off. Nice hot brownies go well with my homemade ice cream recipe if you haven't watched that video yet. But when you're ready, serve and enjoy.